Wall geckos, often misunderstood, sometimes feared. These small nocturnal creatures have been the subject of many myths and misconceptions over the years. But are these little lizards truly dangerous? Let's delve deeper into the truth behind these fascinating reptiles. The answer is a resounding no. Wall geckos are completely harmless to humans. Wall geckos pose no threat to humans. They are not poisonous, nor do they bite. Their tiny teeth are not capable of causing harm to human skin. In fact, they are beneficial creatures, playing a crucial role in our ecosystem, helping to control insect populations in our homes and gardens. By feeding on insects like mosquitoes, flies, and other pests, they help maintain a balanced environment. Many cultures harbor misconceptions about geckos fueled by myths and folklore. These stories often paint geckos in a negative light. Some believe they bring bad luck associating their presence with misfortune or ill omens, while others associate them with venomous creatures. These beliefs are unfounded and have no basis in scientific fact. Scientific evidence confirms the harmless nature of wall geckos. They are not carriers of diseases and do not pose any health risks. Their presence should be welcomed, not feared. Embracing these little helpers can lead to a more harmonious coexistence with nature. Numerous studies by reputable institutions, including universities and wildlife conservation organizations, confirm the harmless nature of wall geckos. Their saliva contains no toxins and their small teeth are incapable of piercing human skin. Their primary defense mechanism is to flee, not attack. Instead of posing a threat, wall geckos offer benefits to humans. They are voracious insect predators, consuming mosquitoes, flies, moths, and other household pests. Their presence can help reduce the need for chemical insecticides, promoting a healthier living environment. One reason wall geckos might seem mysterious is their ability to camouflage. Their skin color and patterns often blend seamlessly with their surroundings, making them difficult to spot. This adaptation is crucial for their survival, allowing them to ambush prey and avoid predators. Their ability to change color to a certain extent adds to their mystique. While not as dramatic as a chameleon's transformation, wall geckos can subtly adjust their skin tone to match their environment, further enhancing their camouflage. This adaptation highlights their remarkable evolutionary journey. Another expert, Dr. Mark Jones, specializing in reptile behavior at the organization name, echoes this sentiment. Geckos are fascinating creatures with unique adaptations that allow them to thrive in various environments. Wall geckos are found in tropical and subtropical regions worldwide. From the humid rainforests of Southeast Asia to the arid deserts of Africa, these adaptable creatures have carved out niches in diverse ecosystems. Their ability to thrive in a variety of habitats speaks to their resilience. Their distribution is largely influenced by temperature and humidity. They are ectothermic, meaning they rely on external sources of heat to regulate their body temperature. Warm climates provide the ideal conditions for these cold-blooded creatures to thrive. Perhaps the most fascinating aspect of wall geckos is their ability to effortlessly scale vertical surfaces, even ceilings. This unique ability has intrigued scientists and nature enthusiasts alike for years. How do these small creatures manage to defy gravity with such ease? The secret lies in the extraordinary structure of their feet. This remarkable feat is made possible by millions of microscopic hairs called setae on the underside of their toes. Each of these setae is incredibly fine, much thinner than a human hair, and they play a crucial role in the gecko's climbing prowess. The setae are not just simple hairs, they are complex structures that interact with surfaces at a microscopic level. These setae create van der Waals forces, a type of weak intermolecular attraction, allowing them to adhere to seemingly smooth surfaces. This means that geckos can stick to a variety of materials from glass to metal with ease. The van der Waals forces are weak individually, but when multiplied by the millions of setae on each toe, they become incredibly powerful. Each seta branches into hundreds of even smaller structures called spatulae, increasing the surface area in contact with the surface. These spatulae are so small that they can interact with the molecular structure of the surface, creating a strong adhesive effect. 
This branching structure is what allows geckos to maintain such a strong grip, even on smooth surfaces. This intricate design allows geckos to generate enough force to support their body weight, even when hanging upside down. The combination of setai and spatula ensures that geckos can move quickly and efficiently across a variety of surfaces without slipping. This ability is not just a marvel of nature, but also a source of inspiration for scientists and engineers. Scientists are studying gecko feet to develop bio-inspired adhesives for various applications. These adhesives could revolutionize industries by providing new ways to bond materials without the need for traditional glues or fasteners. The potential applications are vast, ranging from medical devices to everyday household items. By mimicking the natural design of gecko feet, researchers hope to create products that are both strong and reusable, just like the gecko's remarkable toes. Wall geckos are primarily nocturnal, meaning they are most active at night. Under the cover of darkness, they emerge from their hiding places to hunt for prey. Their diet consists mainly of insects, including mosquitoes, flies, moths, cockroaches, and spiders. Their hunting strategy is based on patience and agility. They lie in wait, often near light sources that attract insects, and pounce with lightning-fast reflexes when an unsuspecting meal comes within range. Their sticky tongues covered in tiny hair-like structures help them capture and secure their prey. Unlike many other lizards, wall geckos are mostly silent creatures. They lack vocal cords and do not communicate through complex vocalizations. Instead, they rely on subtle cues, such as body language and pheromones, to interact with each other. During courtship, males may engage in displays of dominance, such as head bobbing and tail vibrations, to attract females. They also release pheromones, chemical signals that convey information about their species, sex, and reproductive status. These subtle forms of communication highlight the complexities of their social interactions. Section 8, A Tale of Survival Defense Mechanisms When threatened, wall geckos have several defense mechanisms at their disposal. Their first line of defense is often to flee, utilizing their speed and agility to escape predators. If caught, they can shed their tails as a distraction technique. The detached tail continues to wriggle, diverting the predator's attention while the gecko makes its escape. The tail will eventually regenerate, although it may not look exactly like the original. This remarkable adaptation highlights their ability to survive in a world full of dangers. Section 9, Gecko Reproduction, A Look at Their Life Cycle Wall geckos are oviparous, meaning they lay eggs. After mating, females deposit their eggs in secluded locations such as cracks in walls, under rocks, or beneath tree bark. The eggs are small, white, and leathery, providing protection to the developing embryos. The incubation period varies depending on environmental conditions, but it typically lasts several weeks. Once hatched, the young geckos are miniature replicas of their parents and are immediately independent, fending for themselves from day one. Section 10, Living with Geckos, Benefits and Coexistence. Wall geckos are often found in and around human dwellings. While some people may find them bothersome, their presence should be encouraged. As natural pest controllers, they provide a valuable service by keeping insect populations in check. To coexist peacefully with geckos, it is important to maintain a clean and clutter-free environment. This reduces hiding places for insects, making your home less attractive to geckos. Ceiling cracks and crevices can also prevent them from entering your living space. Section 11. Appreciation, not fear. Embracing the gecko. Wall geckos, far from being dangerous, are fascinating and beneficial creatures. These small reptiles often evoke fear or discomfort, but they play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of our ecosystems. Their unique adaptations, from their sticky feet to their nocturnal habits, allow them to thrive in various environments. Their feet, equipped with tiny hair-like structures, enable them to climb smooth surfaces effortlessly. These adaptations make them a marvel of the natural world. Their nocturnal nature helps them avoid predators and hunt for insects, contributing to pest control. Instead of fearing them, we should appreciate their role in the ecosystem and admire their remarkable abilities. Wall geckos help keep insect populations in check, reducing the need for chemical pest control. The next time you encounter a wall gecko, 
Take a moment to observe its intricate details and marvel at its evolutionary journey. Notice the patterns on its skin, which provide camouflage and protection. These little lizards are a testament to the diversity and wonder of the natural world, deserving of our respect and protection. By understanding and appreciating wool geckos, we can foster a greater connection to the natural world and promote biodiversity conservation.